Hello my beautiful geeks, how is everybody doing today? This is Lewis coming to you once again with some more Animal Crossing. It is currently raining in my uh, village, as you can see. And uh, today I figure I was feeling a little nostalgic, a, a little 90s. Um, and um, I love Pokemon, so that's one of the things that you should know about me. And um, I decided that I was going to make an Ash Ketchum related. Uh, shirt and hat combo. So we're gonna do ashes and uh, ashes shirt and hat. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Um, difficulty level for this is easy. Uh, you can use mirror for most of it. Uh, just follow along from home. I think you're gonna really like this one. And uh, let's have some fun. It's it's all about having fun. And again, you know, if you want to change some colors, if you want to do your own bits, um, change it to your own style, you can definitely do that. Uh, that's a beautiful thing about any kind of art. But without any further to do, let's get to it. What do you think, little buddy? Heck yeah. Alrighty. So we're going to start. I already made a blank piece for it, which I have down here. Ash and ash, which is what I'm wearing right now. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do this step by step. So this is sort of the, uh, excuse me, the, uh, not Pikachu, we could do Pikachu eventually as well. Uh, sort of the um, guideline that I'm going to be using. We're going to be doing uh, mirroring for most of it. So what we're going to do is ZR right down here. See, that activates it and deactivates it. So we're going to activate that. And we're going to start with a guideline for what's going to be the neck or um, the part for the, with the, it, he has sort of a uh, neck shirt that it's open, but to create the illusion, we're going to use black in the middle. So our guideline, it's going to be as follows. We're going to go all the way from the top here, and we're just going to go all the way down like so. So that's going to simulate his undershirt that he has, which is a black undershirt and an opening in said shirt. Okay, uh, the blue that he has, uh, it's 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 weird because um, if you look at the old animation, it's a little less uh, it's less bright. But nowadays, not nowadays, because now he wears a different outfit. But uh, whoops, that was an accident. Uh, it it becomes brighter as the seasons go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do uh, in between of both of them. So to start, I'm just gonna put blue. I'm gonna put this blue. However. What I'm going to do is we're going to go to tools and we're going to go to change color. And what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to turn that blue into something a little more softer, something like that. So we're going to kind of go in the middle with it. That's going to be the blue that we're going to keep. And again, you can change it. If you want it lighter, you can go lighter. If you want it really, really dark, you can go really, really dark. But I feel comfortable right around here. I think that is what he shared. Uh, mainly reminds me of so that is what we're gonna go with okay uh, his sleeves are white so we don't have to worry about his sleeves uh, it mainly the main focus we're gonna do is the front and the back all right so we're gonna go ahead and since we're right here we're gonna go ahead and cover the back as well so that this way we are good to go so that is the same blue on the front and on the back and now that we have that line in the middle that it's going to be our split we can go ahead and start working on the neck of the shirt and that part is going to be very easy because we're going to do mirroring. We're going to grab our white. And what we're going to do is we're going to start right at the top over here. We're trying to make the illusion of a neck um, around uh, the color of the shirt, even though there's no actual color. So what we're going to do is we're going to select um, white going this way. And move this way. This way, I'm not confused. And we're going to do a grid of three going down about, I would say, seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's how far down we're gonna go for the neck. And then we're just gonna complete it over here and we're gonna fill all of this as white. As you can see on the left, it looks and it gives the impression of a neck uh, shirt of a collar. So we're going to go ahead and extend it down here like so and cover it like that. And look, we have a basic collar shirt. You can go crazy if you want and then like add like one more spot right here. But then it looks kind of weird if you look on the left. So we're not going to do that. We're just going to go ahead and keep a basic shape like so. Now, um, the, he has a couple of yellow buttons on the sides, which are going to be very easy to make. All you got to do is stay on your pencil and then just hit Y so you can go to the second biggest square shape. And I'm going to make this easy for you. Start right here. 
go down and left that's gonna be your guy right there boom guess what you just have yourself the two yellow dots from his shirt and we're gonna keep the same exact model for the square and we're just gonna go down and we're gonna eyeball it let's see from the center I want to say we're gonna go down seven so seven individuals so it would be one two three uh, one two three four five six seven right about there and we're gonna move I want to say three over so we already two three so our square is gonna go right here and this is going to be for the jacket pockets and you're gonna see how that's gonna look we're gonna go one we're gonna go two nope and we did a mistake right there but we can redo with the minus button you in case you ever mess up just remember that and one right there so that is our basic uh, shirt slash uh, outer inner shirt and we create the illusion of an undershirt like I said by having that uh, black in the middle so that's our shirt pretty easy right our shirts pretty much done uh, nothing else to go crazy about uh, his shirt's pretty plain it's pretty simple and uh, the best thing about it is that you can go ahead and make it very very easily now uh, I've seen some versions of it with the bottom right here it's also yellow and if you want to go ahead and do that very easy just go here choose the smallest one and then we're gonna go ahead and back to the pen and we're gonna do a yellow line that goes all the way across that was an accident right there make sure you do not hit that black and if you make a mistake don't worry you can just fix it like so so that is your main jacket right there I keep calling it a jacket but you know what I mean and on the back we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna follow that same guy line with the yellow and we're just gonna go across so that it connects like so pretty cool right so we have our basic ash ketchup shirt just like that easy peasy now for the back we're gonna we kind of want the neck to continue a little on the back otherwise it's gonna look weird just like neck and then back here there's no neck so we definitely need the color to go back so that's pretty easy uh, you can always eyeball it uh, we're gonna do a mirroring just like we are on right now and the way that I like to do it is I'm gonna start even though it's not in the shirt itself I like to start as a guidance from outside the shirt so we're gonna go one two three and then we're gonna go one two and then what we're gonna do is we're just going to skip down one to the right one two skip one to the right one two three four five and if you did this with the mirror it's gonna be very easy and it's gonna fill itself out just like that and that's how it would look and if you see the line from the front and the line from the back connect so that is what you're looking for you want it to be consistent uh, if you want if you want to make it bigger you can just add another one right here and then maybe add another line right about there so you can do that as well so we're gonna leave it like that I like it I like that design just like that and that's our shirt we're done with the shirt just like that that wasn't that bad right I told you this one is very very easy so we're gonna go ahead and save it and it is ash already so we're gonna do ash shirt ash shirt just like so we're gonna confirm it boom just like that alrighty sorry if you guys heard my uh, doorbell somebody was delivering something um, but anyway we're gonna go into the hat so again I already have it preset with the name and we're gonna go ahead and do his hat now his hat it's probably the easiest piece that you can do because it's just so amazingly simple we're not gonna use mirroring in this one just because we do need a specific pattern to follow but it's going to be easy and you can just follow along and you're gonna see how quickly we can get it done so it's gonna be a brim cap first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that everything else except for the front it's red because that's how his hat looks so we're gonna go and we're going to start making everything else red so we have that red we have that red and the front is the only thing that we're going to keep not red just take a look around it make sure that you got it and you're good to go now the green that his um that his uh the symbol on his hat is it's may not be the best green but we're gonna play around and see 
what we can do with it so we're gonna start right here in this grid right here you're gonna count down three one two three and that's where we're gonna put our first square and we're going to create a tetris piece just like that and then just to follow along you're gonna go ahead and complete a whole other line right here like so oh that was an extra one sorry about that so that's where we are at right now pretty simple so far right now this is when it can get a little tricky but don't worry all we got to do is put one down here then one here one here one here one here and one here so right now we have the top-down curve of his hat easy right now for this part next coming up all we have to do is follow along and you can always do it as much as you want to um, you can eyeball it uh, I'm going to do about eight so it would be one two three four five six seven and eight alrighty and then this is the easiest part all you got to do is run it across and you're gonna go about three more of where the end of this one is so if you go right there you go one two three more that's it and then you're going to start up to the left so that you can make that little gap and you're gonna run it all the way across like so so it kind of already looks like Ash's hat, right? So you can think, okay, but well, there's nothing else we can do. But we want to fill in this little holes right here. So it gives it a little more volume and it looks more like Ash's hat. And there you go. That's Ash's hat, just like that. And then what you can do if you want, uh, if you don't want that extra gap thing that you can see right about there, you can just remove it so that it looks more like his hat. And then we're going to go ahead and move it like so. Make sure it's right in the middle. Make sure you're comfortable with it. And we're gonna go, we're gonna leave it right there. That's what we're gonna go with. Boom. And guess what? We're done. We're gonna go ahead and save it as chat. Boom. This is probably one of the easiest designs you will do. And now you have your Ash outfit. You have his shirt, you have his jacket, you have his undershirt and his hat. So you gotta go catch them all. Let's go do a 360 view of it so you guys can see it really, really quick. In the meantime, if you guys have liked this video so far, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Anybody who may like Animal Crossing, or even if they don't, try to get them into it. And here we go. We're going to do a 360 view. And what you can do is you can put him in jeans and then give him black and white shoes. And then you have a full Ash Ketchum outfit. Just like that. Pretty cool, right? Let me remove his backpack so you guys can see how the back looks. Again, it's uh, to me it's important that the color, uh, something like that, that actually sucks, but you can give him black and white um, shoes. Very good. So don't mind me, I'm in my socks, but I'm in my house. So if you see, the color goes all the way to the back. It looks clean, it looks even. And then you have the things on the side that look like pockets. They give the illusion of pockets and the hat just looks amazing. So, what do you think, little buddy? He likes it. Look at that. It's been approved by Mini Me. So, that's it, guys. That's Ash Ketchum outfit. Hat. We have the shirt. What do you guys think? Let me know if you guys did this, if you created If you have any other requests that you would like me to do, leave them in the comment section below. I'm going to leave in the end all the videos that I've done for Animal Crossing. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching, guys. As per usual, you have been awesome. Do me a favor, guys. Stay awesome. And geek on. Lewis and little Lewis, out. But first, we thank you. Oh, yeah. Bye.